or carbon dioxide bubble can form and escape. Look at a Mentos close up, and it's like the surface of the moon, and that might be the candy key. Drop one in cola, and every tiny crater provides a site where a CO2 molecule can change to gas. Because Mentos are so pitted, the theory is that millions of CO2 bubbles are formed in a very short space of time. And because the candy sinks, and this rapid release of gas happens at the bottom of the cola, you get that famous fountain. To test this nucleation theory, we're going to start with a control. One regular mint Mentos dropped in soda water. And sure enough, it gets the bubbly party started. Now, to do a comparison. These two candies are made by the same manufacturer, and as far as I'm aware, even using the same process. But the colored version of this actually has a glazing over it. It's a wax coating or a sealer that inhibits the nucleation process that the other one achieves quite readily. The shiniest surface should lower the nucleation sites, meaning less of an immediate eruption. That's not doing anything more than the wall of the plastic bottle itself. Sure enough, the smooth Mentos, there ain't no whiz with the fizz, proving that nucleation is the prime mover on the active ingredient checklist. And with all the culprits exposed, the Mythbusters can say they finally cracked the case of the candy and cola cascade. Did you guys come up with anything? What causes the reaction? Yep, we sure did. And we also busted everything that we've seen in the media because not a single one of them came up with a complete explanation of what is going on with the soda. They all had a piece of the puzzle. In fact, it turns out that it's a combination of most of the explanations we've read. The primary initiator of the reaction is nucleation, the candy helping bubbles to form in the soda. But it turns out that the ingredients that make up the candy match perfectly with the ingredients that make up the soda to create what's called a cascade effect, whereby the soda wants to let go of all of its CO2 instantaneously. And that's what makes the explosion. But the fun ain't done yet. In an attempt to put the power of the cascade to work, Jamie and Adam build a cola concept rocket. Yeah, what's up?